And this question asks us to use Lewis symbols and structures to draw the formation of silicon tetrachloride, this molecule right here, from individual silicon and chlorine atoms. Here's the way that's done. If you look at the periodic table, you'll notice that silicon is in column 4A. That means that silicon has four valence electrons. The way that we depict that using a Lewis uh, symbol is by drawing a silicon's atomic symbol, SI, and then placing one of each of those valence electrons on the top, bottom, left, uh, and right sides of that symbol. Now keep in mind that we don't pair up valence electrons until we have no choice. When this silicon interacts with four separate and individual chlorine atoms, we can draw those chlorine atoms in Lewis symbols by also drawing uh, each of their seven electrons, and, and you should note that chlorine is in column 7a of the periodic table, which means that it has, uh, a chlorine has seven valence electrons. So we'll go around the horn, top one, then to the right, then down to the bottom, then over here, and then I start adding more and I pair them up. So uh, that's seven valence electrons, and I have four individual chlorine atoms. Now I want you to imagine each of these four chlorine atoms approaching, and in fact I, I could draw this valence electron up there. As this chlorine atom gets closer and closer and closer to the silicon atom, it essentially is going to plug this hole right here with its unpaired electron, and this silicon is going to plug the chlorine's hole with its unpaired electron. So what I'm going to end up getting is this. This is a one chlorine atom forming a covalent bond with silicon. Hopefully that makes sense. They just plugged each other's holes. The same thing is going to happen with each of the remaining chlorine atoms. So I'll have a chlorine up top, one down bottom, uh, one to the left and one down bottom. With each of them, plugging uh, each other's holes in the same fashion that was shown between the silicon before and, and the chlorine before. Now, when that happens, you can see that we have all the valence electrons from each of these chlorines and silicon uh, combining. You will also notice that if you draw a circle around each of the chlorine atoms, as well as the silicon atom itself, you'll notice that each one of these different atoms feels as if it has eight electrons around it. That's what sharing can do for you as an element. So each of them feels like a noble gas, even though there aren't, truly speaking, enough electrons for each of them individually to have eight valence electrons. What you have to do now is everywhere there's a bond, that is two electrons that are being shared by a silicon and a chlorine, we're going to turn that into a straight line. So we've got our chlorine atoms, straight line here to the silicon. That straight line represents these two electrons straight line between the, uh, the silicon and the chlorine to the right, uh, between, the one, uh, between the silicon one up top, the one down the bottom, and then I draw the remaining lone pair electrons on each of these individual chlorine atoms. That is the Lewis structure for silicon tetrachloride.